According to the Texas Tribune, some parents have told attorneys their children were taken from them immediately at the border. Others say they were separated at processing facilities, and we have shown you some of these facilities in the past few days. The government has provided reporters videos they shot, but they will not allow us to shoot our own video or take our own pictures. Please think about that. Even if the children weren't in those rooms, if you wanted to say you wanted to protect their privacies, they won't let us take any pictures. But they did let reporters inside for a tour. And reporters like our colleague Jacob Sobaroff toured a former Walmart in Brownsville, Texas, that is currently housing 1,500 boys. And he also toured a processing center here in McAllen, where I am. And Jacob says what he saw was much, much worse than the photos provided by the government. He says people are being kept in wire cages. There's a fact check. So let's get you caught up on the latest. We are hearing first the distressing sounds of what these children are going through after they have been taken from their parents. ProPublica has released audio that was obtained from a civil rights attorney from inside a U.S. Customs and Border Patrol facility. NBC News has not been able to independently verify its authenticity, and I warn you, this audio is very difficult to listen to. But those young children's cries and pleas for their parents are apparently not moving President Trump. He is doubling down on his administration's policy, backed by Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. The United States will not be a migrant camp, and it will not be a refugee holding facility. Won't be. This administration did not create a policy of separating families at the border. It's not a policy. Our policy at DHS is to do what we're sworn to do, which is to enforce the law. Let me make something clear. Stephen Miller called it a policy. John Kelly called it a policy. We've heard it's a deterrent. We've heard that it's Democrats' fault. And Kirsten Nielsen continues to say it's a policy. I asked the White House to get themselves in order. It absolutely is. This situation has prompted at least 10 Democrats to call specifically for Kirsten Nielsen resignation. And there is now a flurry of legislation in the works. And I want you to hear me on this from both parties to end separations at the border. And both parties, when I say people who are immigration hawks, say this policy just is inhumane. Once again, a reminder, this is not a law that needed changing. This is a Trump administration policy. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.